everybody, Crystal Beaudry here with Crystal's Clean Kitchen. So today we have another great cottage cheese recipe for you. It's also going to combine all of those fall flavors that you love. We're gonna be making a pumpkin protein whip. Now this is the perfect snack idea because it has 34 grams of protein in it. It tastes amazing. It's low carb friendly, keto approved, and completely sugar free. Thank you guys so much for watching, but before we get into it, would you do me a huge favor and hit that like button? Only because it's gonna send this video to more people through the algorithm. Thank you. Here is all the ingredients that you are going to need. So we're gonna start with one cup of some cottage cheese. We're gonna add in one scoop of some protein. That is actually a half of a serving size. Two tablespoons of some pumpkin two teaspoons of some pumpkin pie spice. And then for the sweetener, you can add in whatever you prefer. So if you're trying to keep this low carb friendly, allulose would be a great option. You could either do the liquid or the powder. You could also do a keto maple syrup. And if you don't care about the carb count, either a regular maple syrup or a honey would be really good as well. So two tablespoons of some sweetener. So you wanna start by adding your one cup of cottage cheese to a blender, and then you can add as much pumpkin as you want. You could either do the one to two tablespoons, or you could add a little bit more. I think I'm, with this recipe, I'm going to be adding in a little extra pumpkin to give it that burst of pumpkin flavor. Then you can add in any sweetener that you want. I'm using maple syrup, but remember, if you want to keep this low carb friendly, then you need to use a sweetener that is approved, like the allulose or um, the liquid allulose or the keto maple syrup. I'm going to be putting in a little bit of my pumpkin spice. Now feel free to add as much protein powder as you want. You could do one scoop, which would be 10 grams of protein, or you could do two, which would be 20. The cottage cheese itself already has 24 grams of protein, and if this is a snack for you, then that would lead this to be about 34 grams of protein. Um, so it's up to you. If you want it to be more, then put two scoops in, but you don't have to. Then we're gonna be blending it up. Just portion it into our bowl. Now I'm going to be putting this in the refrigerator for about an hour just to make it completely chilled all the way through. Let's pull this out of the refrigerator. It definitely thickened up a little bit. Let me show you the consistency. So it's not crazy thin, definitely a thicker mousse-like consistency. Now, if you guys are anti-protein powder, I know there's a lot of people out there that are, you do not have to add the protein powder. This would still be a great protein-packed snack without that as well. All right, let's give it a taste test. Mm. Yum, okay, here's my thoughts. Obviously, it tastes super pumpkin, fallish, all those spices in there. I think I wish I wouldn't have used a pea protein. I think either a whey protein or an egg white protein might have been a little bit better. It would be super great with some nuts on the top or even a little bit of whipping cream. Yum. This was great though, and it will definitely be a satisfying snack for you. You're going to love it. Now, don't forget, we are doing that whole series on all the fun things that you can make with cottage cheese. And this is another great episode to go in that series. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And of course, stay tuned for some more great recipes. We'll see you next time.